Hey there, I'm Andrew Doyle and I am a teacher and campus minister at Aquinas High School and a liturgical musician for the Diocese of San Bernardino. Today is Divine Mercy Sunday and so we focus today on the readings which remind us of the mercy of God. In today's Gospel we read about Jesus' first encounter with the disciples after his crucifixion. The disciples were afraid. They had seen their leader, the one who they had begun to consider a prophet or the Christ, taken, tried, and executed. They must have believed that they would be next for following him. And so in this fear, they gathered together and they hid. They locked the doors where they were staying so they could keep people out. They were probably wondering what to do next. Where should they go from here? And then, among them, appeared Jesus. This is a beautiful sign of his mercy for us, his followers. And that is the fact that we cannot hide from him. He will always seek us out, even if we are lost, afraid, unsure of what we are doing, or ashamed of what we have done. God's mercy allows him to enter into even our most locked away, hidden places and bring with it his light and his hope. Now, here is the next thing that Jesus brings. He tells the disciples, Shalom, or peace be with you. This peace is not simply peace from war or peace in the moment, but it is a peace that is meant to call to calm both mind and soul. This peace that he brings should quell all of our earthly and existential fears. Summed up in all of this is the recognition that God will pursue us in order to bring us peace. And his mercy is so great, so divine, that it doesn't matter where we are or what we have done. There is nothing that the grace of God cannot overcome. And so today, we should recognize what are the locked doors in our lives? Where are the places we hide? And we invite the Lord to shine his mercy and light and peace into those areas of our lives. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for bestowing on us the gift of your mercy. We know that we could never earn it, and yet we are beneficiaries of your grace. We ask you, Lord, to enlighten us in the ways that you bless us this week. Help us to feel your renewing love and peace in our lives. We ask this in the name of your most merciful Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.